Hello everyone, Talented Toy Boxer here, continuing with Crash 4, our 100% perfect relic walkthroughs and guides. So this level is called Run It By You, there's 272 boxes, you can see that on my HUD, right? So I'm going to show you all the gems, so spin these two boxes on the right, and there's a hidden box, I'm not sure if it's hidden because there's fruits leading to it. So what you need to do is you need to jump on the TNT and use it as your first jump and then double jump to get it. And then there's two hidden boxes here. Go on the left and right side of the of every staircase at the very end. So you should have 10 boxes and you should have 16 when you spin all the boxes. And this is a time sensitive box by the way, I forgot to explain that. <clears throat> So what that means, if you spin it, you will fill in all these outlines. Okay, I'm just going to wait for the time to end because I messed it up. So you need to spin all these boxes and spin them in time. Not because you'll, you'll die or something. You just need to do it in time or else you have to walk all the way over here and spin it again. <clears throat> so the yellow color gem is right there. It's actually in this level and this shows you how to get it. It's like in Sanity Peak, that writing on the wall. <clears throat> So you need to slide and double jump here. So that you can see that yellow glow, that's the gem, the colored gem we're gonna get. So I recommend getting, no not getting, keeping as many boxes here as possible. Because when we get that gem, we're gonna have to navigate our way back with them. And I have the death gem, I recommend getting it because you can die a couple of times, even more than three times on this. So that's something I really recommend getting. So jump on this platform, slide and double jump. And jump on any of these two top boxes, and then double jump, and then slam down, and you should get the color gem and three more boxes. You should have 22 now. <clears throat> and I need to go to a certain point, not far away, like kind of close, not extremely close. And you need to slide and double jump once it, once it reaches the, the right side the map portion whatever the platform the oh the one that moves horizontally so now you need to jump on all of these boxes and navigate your way back to the jet board so try not to hit to hit this because it will bump you and you might die i think you'll actually die from it so now you should have 29 and now you just need to slide, oh, not crouch, slide and double jump diagonally over to the jet board. And there's like a, a boost thing if you use it for the first time. So you need to hold down the boost button. And you need to get, that's how you get the golden wumper food. You need to go on the ramp, by the way, to get it. And just collect all these and try not to die falling into the, the whirlpool. So now I should have 29, I think I already said that, so watch out for the mines and try not to get crushed by the platforms that move horizontally and vertically. <clears throat> so here's a time sensitive box, we have to actually time it right, get it? Okay, that joke was not funny, it was actually pretty bad. One like equals one, one person who got... Who, who laughed at the joke? Well, I don't know. I don't know why I said God. What are you getting? The perfect relic? Yes. That's what we're getting in this video. All right. So if you miss the boxes, if you miss the boxes, the the time ones, you just have to go all the way back and hit the time box again, and actually time it right. So the jet board has a pretty big turn radius. It's pretty large, so that's probably why this level kind of sucks. Just because of the little jet board sections. I think this is actually a second jet board level in the in the game. Crash 4. I missed that I miss I'm missing the exact same boxes again. And I did it again. I got nothing from that. Alright, let's try and not die and get blown up. I don't, I don't think you guys can hear me. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. So I'm just going to turn my mic volume up. There you go. Now you guys can totally hear me. The music's pretty loud. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it down. You don't mind that. I've never actually done that 
in one of these videos. Where is sound? Just because it kind of, just because it kind of hurts my my ears a bit. So now I should have 34. If you missed a couple of boxes, good thing there's not mines here. All right, I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna get nothing. Probably not gonna get a single box. Oh. See, I was, I was talking about that turn radius. I wasn't wrong. I wasn't lying. There we go. We got all the boxes for the time-sensitive box. So do not destroy these boxes here. So get the, the golden lump of fruit and spin the checkpoint. You should do that just in case you die. I think I glitched the game again. I'm playing as the Booty Seeker Coco, and I see the Party Gross skin for, for Crash up there supposed to show my character logo or whatever icon so you have to do the same thing with the the other box for the color gem not box just keep as many boxes as possible there's a fourth set of boxes so we're gonna get the box the golden Wumpa fruit box that was just chilling there so so another reason why this level kind of sucks is because there's like slight camera angles, so just spin this box and be very careful, like kind of walk like that. I'm not sure if you'll use the D-pad, but the D-pad's really helpful there. So now you just need to hit this box. Oh, just hit all these boxes here. Oh, there we go. So now you should have 55. You should have 59 after spinning all these boxes. And that might be the uh, the hardest part, but there's actually more hard parts, harder than that part coming up. So watch out for these guys. I do not know their name, but they they dropped these nitro crates, and it was really annoying, and I got angry in my playthrough just because of them when I didn't step in their shadow. And I'm not sure if they have a a big or small hitbox. I'm not sure what caused them to drop it when I wasn't under there. So now I should have 62 boxes. If the, if the, if the, what's it called? If those enemies carrying the nitro blow up, you'll have 60, 64, I believe. So spin that box. And now you just need to jump here. There's a time sensitive box right here. And the time limit goes pretty fast. You could wish you had the... The time mask. I don't know her name. I, I know her name. I just don't know how to pronounce it. So now you enter the bonus stage. You said you should have 66. And this is a pretty like skill based strategic bonus level. So what I like to do. I'm not sure if this strat will work. But I like to just avoid these. And I just like to use the bounce box and get up here, and you just need to jump here. Ah, I died. Okay, change to my character. Change to my character's icon, or whatever that is. Profile, not profile picture. I don't know what it's called, but it shows your character's icon there. The character that you're using, skin. So now you need to, if you die, just retry it. So if you died at that part, then you just need to retry it, of course. Not sure how I could do that. Oh, I did it. So now you need to hit this crate and hit this crate because metal boxes appear and you won't be able to get it there. We'll be able to get the, what's it called? The golden Wumpa fruit box. You won't be able to get it. So jump on this TNT and that should be blow up the time sensitive box but it will not it will not actually like blow it up it's it's metallic so it can't blow up basically so you need to crouch and double jump and hit these three golden Wumpa fruit boxes and hit the nitro and just slide and double jump at that point and now the time limit for the other boxes over here is pretty fast in my opinion i'm not sure how i'll be able to actually get them that quick but you need to be extremely fast in order to get them. So you need to spin it and then just run as fast as you can. So as you can see, that did not work at all. 
I'm not sure how I can actually do that. I don't think that's actually possible. Maybe it is. Maybe I have to jump on the TNT and then make it over here. That's not gonna work. Hmm, there must be something I'm missing. We, need, we just need 10 more boxes. Oh no. Okay, that just made it the situation a whole lot worse. I thought my game crashed because the screen froze. Alright, second time's a charm, maybe. You actually need to destroy it, but I I I don't want to do that. Oh there we go. Alright, so if you die, just retry yet again. It does not cost any lives if you die on it. <clears throat> Maybe I should just do it like that. Just gonna jump on this five times. One, two, three, four, five. It would kind of actually work better if there was two players, but you can only do like passing play and other stuff with two players. Oh, okay, well, I'm trying my best, guys. I hope you know that. No, I was so close. That was the closest I've ever gotten. I'm not sure how you're supposed to do that. It basically seems impossible, but it is possible. You just need to be extremely quick, but I'm not quick. How am I missing it every time? Okay. Crap. Wait, did I did I miss my jump? Did I not land on the box? I need to be like like that kind of fast, but I'm not that fast in video games. And the walk speed is pretty slow in the game, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit this box. You should do that. I I I think I realized my my greatest failure you need the golden Wumpa fruit so you just need to spin it but you you can't stand in spinning because you'll hit the you'll hit the top one which is bad you know what I don't care about the golden Wumpa fruit box all right there we go one two three four five oh nope no, oh, oh, great. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to get that. I think I know how to get that. I think you have to do that to get it. Yeah, you have to do that. Yeah, that's what you have to do to get it if you miss it. You just have to, you just have to die real quick. All right, this is probably the hardest bonus level I've ever had to do in this game. Maybe. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe... Five million times a charm will work. I do not know how to do this bonus level. I basically forgot. All right, this bonus level actually sucks. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. This bonus level is pretty bad. All right, there we go. We blew up those. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there we go. Yay, more timing things. Yay, that's extremely fun. Oh, wait, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to jump on it and then just navigate my way back. See, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what I couldn't do at the start, but now I did it. I found out my greatest failure. I stopped. You metallic box. Stop. I'm, I do not want to retry that. Alright, there we go. We completed bonus level. Let's see if we actually did. Yay! Now we can move on. Alright, you should come out with 88. Finally. So you should come out. You should come out of the bonus level with the sum to, to 11 times 8. Which is 88. So now I should have 90. I might actually die here. 
that I'm not gonna be mad, of course, because I already did this. So this is basically timing based. Not that bad. So now we need to actually like time this rope right here, which is really annoying and frustrating. It's frustratingly hard, basically. All right, so you just have to time it now. Oh no. All right, see how I barely made that? I barely made that. So spin these two fire boxes, make sure they're not fully lit. There's a ton of stuff you can do here. So just hit this right here, like five times. There's nothing up here. There's nothing like hidden and secretive up there that the game would hide because it wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be fair if it was extremely high up because that thing only bounces you like about right here where I am. So the hidden gems right here, spin the checkpoint and spin all of these boxes. And once you do that, you should have 105. And now you need to go behind this crate right here and spin it. There's an exclamation point box. There we go. And that reveals some metallic boxes. So this might actually be the the most hidden gem in this in the Mosquito Marsh, which is the timeline we're in. So it's like right here. I recommend like standing here. You guys can see that it's basically off screen all right i think that means that we can go so we just have to hope to god we'll make that oh there we go we got our hidden gem hidden gem found so i recommend using the, the d-pad buttons to slowly navigate your way to the end of the metallic platforms or boxes then, you, then once you do that, you need to slide and double jump here. There we go. That was a pretty close one. Now you should have 105. You should have 104. I think I accidentally triggered a nitro somehow. So I, mine will always be one higher than what you have. And I, I think it's, I think it's my fault. So now the the boxes here are pretty obvious. Oh, but there is a hidden one coming up, so make sure you pay attention. It's, so the hidden one is right after this this little ramp right here, the yellow arrow. So just hit this box once there's no mines. So now you just need to you need to boost and get that box. And you have one try, or else you'll have to die. So the Aku Aku can absorb damage from a mine, but it cannot absorb absorb damage from a whirlpool. So if you so if you get sucked in a whirlpool, you're dead. <clears throat> yeah, there's two hidden boxes here. This one's not really hidden, but this one is. You should have 113, but I accidentally triggered a nitro, I believe. So I assure you that's why that's why I have 116, one higher than you right now. So just hit all of these boxes, try not to lose your mask and get blown up like the mine, like that nearly happened. So now you just need to hit all of these. There we go, 122. I think you'll have 121. I'm not sure, I forgot the, the, what the tutorial said. So there's three boxes, so hit the time sensitive box. I, I died. That was the first death at an extremely hard part. Did I already get the hidden gem? Uh, okay, did I already get it? I'm not sure I hit the metallic box, the exclamation point one. Is the hidden gem there? Imagine it's not there. I just did that for a waste. Oh, basically it was, because I already got it. I forgot when you get the hidden gem and you die, then it's not there anymore, because you already got it. All right, I got 105. I think I actually triggered a nitro free. I feel like I did. Let's hope that doesn't make me. Let's hope that doesn't make me. Uh, what's the word? Miss one box because of that. Um. Oh great! I got hit. Now I'm probably gonna die. There's a hard part coming up. Now I'm probably gonna die be because I I was too fast. Woohoo! Woo yeah, that's gonna be me when I. Miss the box. That's gonna be me whenever when I 
actually complete this perfect relic run. Imagine these boxes right here count. That would be so infuriating. I told you about the turn radius, didn't I? It's bad. Alright, just gonna ignore the outline box. Alright, so I can die as many times as I want. I might be at this exact same part for a while. Oh, give me the fruit. So if you go back, the turn radius is pretty big, which means you're probably gonna hit a projectile there. If there's actually a projectile. Does that make sense? Like, if there's a projectile and you miss a box, you're more likely to hit it because it has a big turn radius if you go back for it. Instead of just dying. Alright, I got that without losing my mask. That's wonderful. I think you'll have 113. <clears throat> Unless you hit the nitro, you should have 114. So I like to take it slow and steady. What happened like 30 seconds ago? That happened. Boost. I feel like the boost is a threatening thing because it kills me every time. Alright, so this last and third box has a really weird hit detection on it. But, it, I, I hit it like that, but it, it has a really weird hit detection, and basically what that means... So, when I saw the tutorial, let's do this. The the box, he had to actually jump on it using the jet board, but I'm, but I'm not sure if... If, if you can just automatically hit it like that the way I did it. So now I just need to go on this ramp and... Okay, I have a mask. That's good. It's pretty useful to have a mask here. It's extremely helpful. Oh, okay. My, the turn radius sucks on this, so I'm just gonna... Just keep in mind that that one box has a really weird and awful hit detection. I have to wait for these mines to go away, and then I can do my 100% box relic things. Whatever it's called, the perfect relic. Alright, I have 128. You might have 128 after I hit this box, if you didn't hit the nitro. I'm not sure if I accidentally triggered a nitro crate, because the tutorialist had 104, and I watched him play it and get the perfect relic for it. Alright, so now you have to go whenever these mines are are not around you. There we go, we finally made it. So now you just have to hit all of these boxes. So if you if you miss a box, it's basically game over. Not really, if you have the death gem, you can just die. Because there's a moving platform under you. So you'll have to die if you have the death gem. And if you and spin that box by the way. So if you die, then you'll have to restart the whole thing again if you didn't. If you didn't hit the, the checkpoint for... So if you hit the checkpoint for this and you're, you were like right at the end of the section, you'll actually have to start the whole thing again. Does that make sense? So jump on the TNT and go over here. And I'm not sure if providing commentary at this part is pretty helpful, so just spin all these boxes, by the way. I had to end my sentence so I could speak. So jump on the TNT and hit all these boxes. There we go. I'm not sure if the exact same events that happened to me will happen to you. Then slam the that box down. Slam it when... You know what? You just have to slam it when the platform's under you. So, oh. Oh, wait. I died. Okay, so sliding is really useful, but I, I kind of got used to crouching, which is extremely helpful. So spin these boxes. Oh, so you have, we have to get as high as possible. Oh, oh, shoot, I died. I feel bad for him, the, the guy, the, the, the guy in this little, that kind of looks like a golf cart, just because of the stripes. So in this little vehicle, the vehicle he's in i felt bad for him because he was actually he was actually sad and traumatized that i died Damn. so i think you can only use him once in this level i forgot so if he died we try it hopefully you, you haven't died four times if you didn't get the death gem all right i'm taking forever so there's actually nothing up here so just spin the bounce box Alright, I gotta concentrate. 
There we go. So I'm trying my best to get every box that is on the screen right now. I think I should focus what's in front of me. Alright, there we go. Okay. Okay. Alright, so the flashback tape is somewhere at the end. If you already have it, it won't show up. But if you don't have it, then it, then it will show up. So now you should have 214. I think you'll have 213 if, if the guy didn't... I, I don't know if something triggered a nitro or something, or if it's just me. I think something triggered a nitro crate. Maybe an enemy. So now what you need to do is you just need to do the same thing we did with the beginning box. Remember the beginning box? The exact same thing. So watch out for the fire crate. Spin it when fire's not coming out of it. And then grab the checkpoint box. You should have 219 if you, if you got an extra box or if you triggered a nitro or something. I don't know. I think you'll have 218. 18. So... In this, make sure you go upstream the entire time at this part. Oh. Oh no, I can't get box. I missed a box. Here, murder me. Here, kill me, Nitro. I need to get the boxes. How are my shoes and other things just floating? How are they floating and not in the water? So you just need to go upstream this whole part. Alright, so you need to go upstream here so you don't hit boxes or miss boxes like like that right there and you can't go up. Can't go up. So once you've made it down here, wait, we're slowly making it up, but I feel like I'm not gonna make it up there. So just kill me, Nitro. Ahem. So make sure you go upstream the whole time at this part, but not for the entire thing. Just go upstream. No! No! Here murder me. There you go. I deserve it for my stupidity. Or maybe the turn radius. Not my stupidity. Alright. Okay, so it's like, it's it's so fast. It occurs so fast I can't keep up. Blow me up. I deserve it. I, I have died seven times. It might be this video might be a little bit extended. Hey, come back here, boxes. I need you for my perfect relic run video. And I'm going to upload to YouTube. Oh, okay, this is actually working. Go upstream this part. And then it has a big turn radius. You just have to go left and right. Is there a break on this jet board? I feel like there isn't. The break is like stopping, but that still brings you forward. My controller vibrated when that enemy shot the TNT. Ugh. Oh, God. I've already done this level, but this is pretty hard. There's like a fake crash Easter egg on this ramp. It's coming up soon. Oh, oh. All right, I can go back, that's good. And I missed the box, go back, that's great. Good thing I'm not at the beginning of this jet board section or else that would suck. I have to die again. So at this ramp coming up, the fake crash easter egg is coming up okay we got Wumba gem number three this is actually the end section by the way but it's extremely hard i what happened to my mask wait i lose it i died like five times on this all right so here's fake crash here here he is hey can you turn around for me real quick hey turn around look at the camera all right so you can see he has fake teeth right there and also fake eyebrows so they call him Fake Crash just because he looks like that. He doesn't look real at all. That's what the internet calls him. And that's what the game calls him as well. I, I feel like I gotta... I feel like I'm gonna die. I kind of have a bad feeling about this. I think you'll have 246 when you make it to this point. So just basically try your best to hit all these boxes. Go upstream if you miss some boxes. So we're basically going down the, the stream. Oh, there we go. So I got an extra box and Nitro triggered it, I guess. So when you spin this box, you should get the box gem. There we go. So let's see what skin we got from that. 
I got a trophy called Topaz Pizzazz. Topaz Pizzazz. I said it wrong. All right, we got the color gem and the skin called Cat's Meow. That looks like a ringmaster. That doesn't look like a cat meowing. So you should have all three Wumpa gems, all boxes. You shouldn't have died three times or more. Or you could have just gotten that gem the first time you did this. Should have gotten the hidden gem and the color gem. So I think that's all the color gems. And that all that should unlock the cat's meow skin. So I'll see you in the next video. I'm not sure what the next level is called. But it's a timeline one. So I'll see you next time.